Welcome to the third lesson uh, looking at the population scheme of work. This is going to be looking at the demographic transition model. The demographic transition model is designed to show how can population change in a country be modelled and the exam board are keen about asking you about models and therefore it's important that you understand the different stages. The demographic transition model traditionally is broken up into five stages. The five stages that we can see are stage one. Stage one has one classic feature, it has a very high death rate and it also has a very high birth rate. Now because of this it leads to a very low total population. There's very few countries in the world which are like this. There's some um, countries such as Swaziland, Lesotho, in Africa um, which are like this, but there's very few in the world. Most countries have now begun to develop and because they've begun to develop they've started to actually do things to their birth rates and their death rates and once you enter stage two the death rate starts to fall. Now this is quite significant because whilst the birth rate is remaining high we have high levels of natural increase. Now why is it falling? Well if you think about the last um, lesson that we looked at it's falling due to things is things such as improvements in medical care, improvements in water supply, sanitation, which is leading to lower infant mortality and overall leads to a decline in death rate. Also leads to an increase in life expectancy. By stage three, people have begun to realise that the death rate has fallen and as a consequence of this, the birth rate also begins to fall and this can be seen here. Now, as this birth rate falls, the death rate begins to level out and our natural increase begins to slow, but it's still quite high, which is why this overall total population is beginning to rise. An example of a country in this area is Brazil, another would be South Africa, and India is probably now beginning to enter this phase as well. Why does the birth rate start to go down? Well, you've got fewer children being needed because more people are living in cities and therefore there's less need for rural workers. You've also got improved medical care, improved diets, and as I said before, there's lower infant mortality, which means that you've got these factors remaining high. People are also beginning to introduce family planning as well. And this then leads us into stage four. Now stage four, has both a low overall birth rate and a very very steady death rate. It's called low stationary and it leads to for the country a very high total population. This is our most common stage for our more developed countries, our HICs. Okay and this is where you see USA, France, the UK in here. Japan is slightly different now since this uh, diagram was created. If we actually take Japan as an example, what we can actually consider is that Japan is a country which is beginning to enter into stage five and it's got a declining population. Germany is another example of this. This is because its death rate is remaining fairly steady but its birth rate is going down. This is due to improved status of women, more family planning, people having later marriages and this real choice of women which allows them to have a career as opposed to um, following a traditional route of having a family. And this leads to a declining popul the population in stage five. Now, the exam board can ask you one of two things in relation to this. They can ask you to start completing one of these um, models, if they, they'll give you a part model, or they're going to ask you exam questions based on this. These next two questions are examples of questions which have been asked at various different points in time, and these could be adapted and changed depending on the want of the examiner. So, for instance, the first question on the left suggest reasons to explain why the death rate is decreasing in stage two of the demographic transition model could be translated into suggest reasons to explain why the death rate is high in stage one of the demographic transition model. So they can be fairly flexible with these questions. Again, a similar thing can be done with the question on the right. Why don't you pause the video and then have a go at these two questions. So, 
hopefully you found those okay and what this leads us to is we'll look at the mark scheme now and the mark scheme is fairly straightforward again we're going to see the mark scheme this is the answer for the question on the left and then this is suggested answer for the question on the right remember that this was a three mark question whereas the other one was a four mark question and as a consequence you've got slightly different um, scale of markings there's something very important on this on this mark scheme though okay and that comes from this section here okay one mark per reason but you get a second mark for elaborating on your points okay so it's no good just saying improved healthcare you need to say improved healthcare due to uh, free flu jabs for instance in the UK that's then elaborating on your point similar thing here up to two marks without the explanation clearly this is very important and you need to be doing it okay and so on this side you've got an example of birth control and then you've then it starts talking about the fact that people are choosing to have smaller families as it's expensive bringing up children and if you bear back to the previous screen slide we the screencast we talked about we said that the average cost to bring up a child in the UK is around £180,000. That ends this screencast. I hope you found it helpful on the demographic transition model.